Hello, my name is Dr. Andre Berger. I am a cataract surgeon from Sao Paulo, Brazil. This was a surgery done in a 65 years old patient that came to me complaining about visual acuity loss. As we can see, we know the reason. The IOL from this patient was completely down. It's important to say that this is the second time I made the surgery of this patient because of exactly the same reason. But at the first time, I simply rotated the IOL and everything went fine for 5 years and the vision of the patient at this time was 2020. But that time, I really don't know why, the IOL simply could not be centered. So I decided to put the IOL at the anterior chamber. My first attempt was to construct a posterior capsular rexis starting from a node capsulotomy made by Yag laser. It's important to say that this patient made the cataract surgery about 25 years ago. And as you can see, this is a PMMA non-foldable IOL. I believe is that because at the past was difficult to get the correct diopter since this patient is a high myopic patient and a single Y patient. My intention here was to capture the optic of the IOL by the capsular rexes that I made before. But as you can see, I don't know if it's because of the size of the capsular rexes or because of something else, the IOL could not be caught by these rexes. So, after a lot of tries, and because of this myopic situation, I decided to went to my comfortable zone. I had some problems, as you can see, rotating the IOL, and maybe I wish I could expand the iris before I did all those movements. As you can see, I had made some bleeding from iris, probably. But the worst thing was the fact that I had made a capsulorexis in the posterior capsule. So all the blood went to the vitreous through this aperture. Of course, for some months, this patient complained about a very severe loss of vision because of the blood in the vitreous. But as I was saying, my plan now was to perform an iris fixation of this IOL. Since it was a non-foldable IOL, as I said before, so if I want to remove completely this IOL to change for another one, I had to make a very, a very big incision. And more than that, if I put another IOL, it would have the same sizes. So I decide 
to continue with my plan. That was Iris' fixation. As you can see here, it's a bit difficult to do this kind of technique with a straight needle, but I could perform that. I really think there is lots of much more elegant techniques to do this iris fixation. But I'm a huge fan to construct an odd cider part. At the end, everything went fine, and despite the blood that remains there for about one or two months, the patient now is completely healthy, and the vision that he lost completely returned. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.